Wow, you got that first try. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, this is crazy, dude. Oh. <laughs> this game is amazing. And welcome to another Justice video. So this week, we really wanted to show everyone a game that has had our attention every week now for almost a month. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it really addicting. has. So addicting. This game is called Celeste. It's like a very tight platformer game where there's a, a lot of challenges, maneuvering, a lot of quick timings. It's very difficult. How much was it, Aiden? I believe the game was $19.99. Microsoft Store. Okay, for Xbox? Yeah. Okay. It's also so, on Steam, I think, for PC and like other platforms. A couple things I really love about this game. One, the music. Yes. That's it true. is so cool. Very atmospheric. Yeah. Really sucks you in. The second thing is the story. Oh yeah. It is really good. Yeah, it talks a lot about like mental health and like it's very metaphorical of like trying to get over the mountain. It's very yeah. interesting. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So this uh, first level, it's even called a prologue. It's more of like a tutorial level just to get the story started. So straight to it, right? Yeah, straight into it. Oh, right into the spikes. This game is definitely going to frustrate you a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I imagine like this is a game a lot of people try to do like speed runs of. Oh yeah. It's kind of what you have to do. <clears throat> oh, I already got those. Oh yeah, that's why they're blues because we already uh, got them. Oh shit. Yeah, like sometimes it almost feels like the game is trying to set you at a certain pace, like it yeah. wants you to, to go fast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, even right there, it flew away if you're not quick enough. Oh. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, there's a lot of places in this game where you're supposed to be within inches of death yeah. to pass. But you know what's cool too is uh, during, like, in between each level, sometimes it would give you a little, like, it's okay to fail type of message. Yeah, because you fail a lot in this game. Yeah, it, it, it basically telling you the more times you fail, the more you learn. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And uh, something that's kind of fun too is at the end of every level, it gives you a count of uh, all the times you died. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was our highest uh, death rate? Like um, 800? So far, yeah, I think like 882 or something like that was but the it, highest death count we it got. It definitely went up. And see, even though this game is a single player game, we love to play it as a group because you have three minds strategizing but on one puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it's it the makes best it way to pass. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it really took all three of us just to get to where we're at. And it's great for when we get kind of mad too because, like, if we're like tired of playing it because of how mad we are, we can just pass it to someone else yeah. and they can try to get past yeah. it. And then once they get past it, you have a new part that you're not mad at. Okay, so. This girl's name is Madeline, and this is another traveler that they met, or she met, named Theo, right? Theo? Yeah. You know what it kind of makes me think of sometimes, though? Is that really old meme video of uh, um, William Shatner, like, uh, talking about Captain Kirk climbing the mountain. Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? That's hilarious. Like an auto-tuned song of one of his parodies. It's like old school YouTube. You guys should uh, look it up and check it out. The scenery changes up in pretty dramatic ways as you get further and further up the mountain as well. Oh yeah. Sometimes you get to levels and you're just like, where the hell is this mountain that it has this kind of stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it almost makes you question if, if this whole climb is in her head. Maybe. You know? This whole climb could be a metaphor for her getting over her mental obstacles. I wouldn't be surprised if we get to the end and it has something like that. Kind of like a Wizard of Oz type of feel? Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> 
You can also set, use that to send you flying to the other side if you wanted. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's quite a few puzzles where timing is a key thing. Oh, man. Oh, right into the spikes. Oh, this is just for that. Oh, this is just for that heart. Yeah, it's just yeah, for that. already got. Yeah. So we decided to do a level a little bit further up the mountain just to kind of show you how dramatically the scenery and the puzzles change up on you throughout the game. Oh yeah. So like chapter one was pretty basic, simple. Was it anything like too intense yeah. or intricate? It d I gotta say though, is this game does a good job of working its way up to these extreme puzzles. Like it kind of oh, yeah. trains you Oh yeah, 100%. in a way. You gotta dash through. It's weird going back to these levels, like yeah, because there's oh, things you forgot. Oh, to do again. That's right. Yeah, just it's cool because like the mechanics change every level in subtle ways. Mm -hmm. Like they, there are definitely like majority oh, like yeah. very there's, similar things. The yeah, kind of like you said before, it like slowly gets you ready for the next step. Yeah. Oh, he got sucked into the mirror dimension. Okay, so if I remember correctly. Yeah, through there. Oh yeah, those things are so cool. Hit the button. I forget which way to go This game is just beautiful. It is. They did an amazing job putting this game together. Um, I feel like if you go around to that bubble on the bottom, you can go straight up. You know what I mean? Not that one on the very bottom, but the one sort of angled up from it. That one. Oh, so how do I get to that one? I forget. I think you gotta use that bottom bubble right up and dash into that one. Yeah. I think we've learned Elijah definitely has the most patience with the controller in this game too. Yeah, ah! it's like me and like we all have good theory. Me and Aiden have like really good theory and then Elijah has like really good execution. Yeah. And me and Aiden just have okay execution. Yeah. It's like you gotta find like the balance between theory and execution and just get it done. So here's the key. One thing about this game is I always forget where the doors for the keys are. Yeah. Like once I find the keys, I'm like, okay, now where was that door again? Oh my God. See, they expect you to forget. They know it's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Oh. I'm supposed to go back down. Oh yeah. All the way. I'm super happy there's no fall damage in this game. Yeah. You can just land from as far down as you want. There's a door. And you can somehow survive. I want to go to the dream world. There it is. There it is. Nonchalant selfie. <laughs> Hashtag bless. <laughs> <laughs> they really like modernized this game though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like it's dark before you get there. Yeah, so you never know what platforms are gonna be there, or what things you have to do until you get to that yeah. point. Oh no. Like oh, you have to jump up in the middle. Headphones and a dark room would be very excellent for this game. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's easy to get lost in this game if you're not like familiar with the level yet. Like, once you spend a lot of time traveling around it, you start to remember, but when you first get into it, you're just like, where am I? Yeah. So next, we wanted to bring you all the way to where we are currently at in the game. 
Yep. Just to show you how difficult it gets. So this is chapter six. We showed chapter one, chapter four, and now chapter six. Currently stuck. It's so cool looking though. It is with all the waterfalls and stuff. Yeah, so it's And funny. like, I love how, go down in the water real quick, Elijah. It muffles the sound when it's in yeah. the water. I love that. She can drown. You know, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. We never we, really tested that. I thought we passed this level. Oh. See, it's weird things like that that make me question whether this game is all in her head or not. Because some physics in this game seem like real life physics, but then like, for example, she has no fall damage. Yeah. And she can hold her breath like... Forever underwater. Yeah. So it seems very dreamlike almost. Yeah, and she can grab a feather and start flying as an orb. I mean, yeah. that's pretty intense right there. So just how I'm going, you're supposed to like basically speed through this stuff. Yeah, it wants you to keep a, a, a good pace. What was kind of lame is we were like really high up the mountain, and we like fell down all the way to this point. Yeah, we were like very close to the top, I yeah, feel like. Yeah, like with the storyline of the game, it like brings you all the way down here again. Yeah. Kind of like a low Rock plane. bottom. Yeah, yeah, and it's making you climb back up. Oh. These feathers actually started in the game with a breathing exercise that her buddy taught her yeah, to help calm her down. Yeah, during panic attacks. Yeah. yeah. Damn, it's just, he is so lost in this. Yeah, and there are bosses in this game, and it's cool because, like, the first boss is uh, actually her inner <gasps> demon. Where am I supposed to go? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I totally missed it. Oh, wow, you got that first try. I know. Do, boys. And that was a point I know we hadn't even gotten to yet yeah. before. Like that was legitimately he got that first try. <laughs> so we just gotta test the waters out here. See how high we can. <laughs> the goal is to climb the mountain. Okay, yeah. so we gotta go high. That's where. I, this is what. That's where it is. What is this? Oh, another mirror. So yeah, like, up to this level, she has, what is it, like a dark side of her, of everything that she hates yeah, or it's something? Like, it's like her yeah. inner demon, everything she hates about herself, yeah, I think. Yeah, and she sees it as this dark reflection of herself. Nice. Hold on, go back real quick, go back. There's a secret right there, I think. Yep. Oh, totally. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Jump, 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 jump! Yes! Okay, so I just keep going up? Oh. Is there a path to your left right there? Oh, this is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Oh! Oh, yeah, I'm definitely all the way down. All the way back. Yep, all the way okay. back right there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes. This game is amazing. You can tell they put a lot of work into it. Because with like the level of puzzles they had, they had to have done a lot of testing. Oh yeah. So there's just yeah. so many things I can do here? Like... This is one of those spots where we like just die over and over and over again. And then we just finally oh do it right one time. Oh, I'm supposed to shoot up there. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've died a lot of times, man. I just... <laughs> man, definitely goes to show that, like, compared to the cover art in the store, this game is a, a lot harder than you would think. So yeah, if you get the chance, I highly recommend you check out this game because you will definitely not regret it. 
I think this is one of those games that no matter how many times you die and you fail at this game, like it's easy just to spend hours trying to get that one success. Hours. Oh, yeah. Hours. It's like a great moment of like satisfaction. Yeah. Once you're you're there, you've you've gotten past that hurdle you couldn't get past. And on that note, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Justice Band and on Twitter at Justice We Stand. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're digging the content. I hope everyone out there has an excellent week. Until next time, catch you on the flip.